I would like to introduce you to a new cryptocurrency course. It's uh, officially being taught at the University of Iceland, but uh, we're making it generally available. All of the material is online, uh, and uh, through introducing the sequence of videos, anyone anywhere can also get the equivalent of the lectures. Now, the material is all stored on the tutor web, uh, but we're going to use a new version of the tutor web called beta.tutorweb.net and uh, you, you'll be, want to be careful here, that's, that's a hyphen between tutor and web and uh, to log on to this you can simply use the uh, username guest and the password is also just guest so g-u-e-s-t now you can also sign in yourself uh, and use your own name and that's what you want to do if you're going to solve exercises and, and get some rewards for this in terms of grades or, or other things but uh, if you're a part of the class of a class somewhere uh, in secondary school or, or university which uh, where you know more people than yourself want to use this then you really should ask your instructor to contact us and we'll uh, re register the whole class because one of the things that happens here is that you get smiley coins as rewards uh, for performance and if you're a registered student uh, as a part of a class then you'll get many more smileys than if you're just uh, signing up using an arbitrary uh, email address. So we log in and you'll see here that uh, the guest user is uh, registered already into this particular cryptocurrency course and nothing else. Now the cryptocurrency course consists of these components, we call them lectures, they may or may not cons compare or, or be the same as real world lectures, but we call them lectures anyway. Now one of the things I'm going to use throughout in the different videos is I'm going to use slides that correspond to these lectures. So I'm going to be clicking on these, you don't want to do this, but I'm going to do this. So I'm going to be clicking on these slides and I'll be showing you all of these slides on and off throughout the course. Now, you on the other hand will want to take a look at the overall handouts or, or notes corresponding to the entire course, the entire tutorial. Because in these notes you will find the slides but also additional handouts that come with the slides. So as you can see this looks like a little leaflet or a, a, a little small textbook. Uh, and uh, it contains the slides in each subsection and then you may or may not have some additional information like handouts uh, or examples and other things so examples of how to do things using cryptocurrencies for example these uh, such examples will, will go in here and these examples will be designed and written and published by students so th that's the one you want. You want to take, you want to use these uh, notes here. Now, the next step, the next thing you want to see is um, that if you click on any one of these lectures, you have the option to write or review examples. Now, in my case, I'm just going to give you one really quick example of how to use this. Here, we haven't written any, any material. We can write some new material and uh, where should this go? It should go into some topic or other and then we want to write an example down here. Uh, the language used is called restructured text. So examples should be written in restructured text. And you can easily Google this to see what uh, restructured text looks like. It can be just ordinary text. You can also uh, type bullet points. Uh, like this. And, uh, uh, and there are several other ways to, to uh, make the examples look nice. Now up here, you really should look at the, to the PDF file before you uh, decide to write an example because you need to insert here where the example belong so which subsection 
uh, it belongs in, should we go into 1.2 or 5.7, rather than just be a lecture file. So that's uh, enough on this, and uh, we're simply going to not answer this, not submit this, but by all means use the guest account while you're uh, trying this for the first time. Now in the next few videos I'm going to go through some of these slides, I'm going to go through uh, basic background to cryptocurrencies and then take something about the smiley coin and then uh, continue through all of this. If you do decide to look at these videos, uh, you will end up learning quite a bit about the internal structure of cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, smiley coin, Litecoin, Ethereum, and uh, you will learn to uh, appreciate just how much is possible, uh, how much can be done with this. So enough for now, I hope to see you in the next one.